working away in the how to rent shop and I thought I gotta stop grab the camera and this is one I haven't done before and yeah uh, in this video uh, you're thinking you might be thinking to yourself oh you know how to rent another carb video we have hundreds of videos in our playlist right well you know tonight I'm working on this Harley Davidson carburetor here and what I'm doing applies to numerous carburetors of multiple manufacturers so this little tip that I'm going to show you in this video we have not made this content before so I suggest you stay tuned to the end so check this out all right the lesson in this video is the fact that i'm getting ready to change the cv slide and a lot of times people just change this because it's tore or the rubber has shrink or even uh stretched out to where it won't fit uh nice in the card body and something that's often overlooked is the the physical condition of the slide itself you'll notice on a lot of carburetors uh, they've gone to a plastic slide. Uh, regardless what the material's made out of, you got to think about on the intake stroke, this thing gets sucked forward. Even though it's an up and down movement, it gets sucked forward. And then as it comes back up and, and relieves that tension, it goes back. And, and we've got some pretty big grooves in here. The, the carburetor body itself is not affected. The slide really was the sacrificial piece, if you will, and took some of that, uh, some of that blunt wear. I mean, there's grooves I can actually fill in here. Uh, with my hand. You might be able to slightly see the kind of ring around the outside of that. Uh, the other thing is, is this thing's gotten hot. You could see maybe some, you know, backfiring or something to where uh, the plastic has actually started to deteriorate and melt. And th this is just something that's not worth gambling on. I'm just going to put a new one in it, rock and roll. Uh, met my pals over there at LA Harley Davidson and uh, picked up some OEM parts. Full retail on this thing's 50 bucks. So you're gonna do it once, you know, on the rebuild, be done with it and move on. What I recommend. So the other thing you want to take a look at is the, the spring itself. And this is something that's kind of taken for granted here. What you want to do is you want to compare, this is why it's great to have, it's it's really hard to do on a single cylinder carburetor because you don't have anything to compare it against from multiple cylinders. This spring here, one thing I noticed between these coils are much wider than the rest of this. And, and these springs are always just a constant rate spring like this. And uh, so you can tell it's been stretched. The other thing is sometimes you'll see the coils are the same, but the fact the spring is longer, shorter, and that's going to lead to why I want to talk about what we need to check on this carburetor. Another thing that happens with the spring uh, vibrating, before I forget, is this has actually got some real shiny spots in here. And if you take the time to actually measure the coils where the shiny spot is, it's thinner than the other side because through vibration, it's actually starting to wear a little. Uh, you'll really see this, especially on dirt bikes. I've seen them get so thin that they're flat or I've actually seen the spring break. So uh, just think about vehicles that vibrate a lot. Uh, that is something that you need to consider is inspect the, the condition of that spring. So we're not going to mess around. We're getting a new one. Back to the slide itself. And this is the really, really, really big point of this video. Is on the bottom of the slide, there's this little hole. And that's called the slide lift hole. And what I'm doing is I'm comparing those two because... When you uh, do these popular aftermarket jet kits, I'll show you here in a second, sometimes they use the stock slide, but they tell you to drill that hole out. So let's say, you know, your customer has their bike running great and you're going and they just want it cleaned. We want to bring that bike back into that running condition that it was with that jet kit. If I put a stock slide back in and I don't drill that hole, I'm going to uh, actually hand him back a carburetor that will perform worse than it did at some point when it was dialed in and good to go. So what I like to do is I like to use a drill set like this, or I call it an index set. And then I take you know unused drill bits, a lot of these smaller ones just only get used to be, do what we call transfer measuring. And I'm going to keep sizing them up until I find a uh, drill that fits, I'll just start usually with the used one, and I'll find a drill that fits that hole really nice without going to a larger size and then I will check it against the brand new one and see if they're the same size. Uh, I mean there are some jet kits where I can only think of a couple ever that I've seen where they actually had you epoxy this. Uh, I've seen them where they're even drilled and tapped and they actually have you change the size of the hole to actually make it smaller. One way or another what my tip is you need to check this. If you're replacing this part 
you need to figure that out. Now, you got to think about how difficult this is on a multi-cylinder bike. If you only had one bad slide and you just changed uh, the one slide and didn't get that hole the same as the other, you're just going to have all kinds of problems. So that is my tip to go ahead, size that up and take a look at that. As you can see in the instructions floating around the video right now, you're going to see where it, uh, this particular model of uh, jet kit, I just grabbed this. These are dyno jet kits. I love these. Uh, they tell you to slide lift hole. Make sure in the directions too, as you'll see, that you, you make sure and drill the slide lift hole, not the hole in the center where the needle actually slides through itself. So you might be asking yourself, well, Shane, how am I supposed to know whether it has a jet kit? Here's a really good clue. If you look at the stock needle, you're going to see it just has a, a flat uh, tip on there and that it's non-adjustable. When you have a jet kit or you know performance carburetor there, what you're going to see quite often is you're going to see a, a needle like this that has adjustments where you can flip up or down to richen or lean the carburetor out to, to, to tune it versus the stock OEM carburetor that they don't want you messing with emissions or anything else you're just gonna have something like this so our customers carburetor came with this needle really good indication that it didn't have a jet kit in there we got hundreds of videos we have individual playlists in particular our fuel systems playlist has hundreds of videos just on how to service carbs and how to do all these things have it uh, I hope you uh, found that useful like I said this is one I don't think that we've actually covered in a thing as far as you know that identification of whether a, a bike had a uh, jet kit in it. So uh, regardless of the brand, this is something you, you know, like I said, you need to check on all of them. So we love having you here. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't ever miss out on a video. Uh, run over to the website and sign up for the newsletter. That's another great way to stay connected. We have a whole bunch of exciting stuff coming. Uh, we're adding some member benefits that we've been wanting to do for a long time, like a lot of free giveaways. Uh, I've got 50 pair of these uh, Radian safety glasses, these anti-fog safety glasses that we're going to be blowing out the door. A lot of great stuff, but we need your help. We've had this content free for over nine years, and to, to keep that going, to keep driving that, we got to be able to do something. So the way we're going to do that is by trying to get that subscriber count up and, uh, and just kill it uh, in that area. So... Thanks again. Thanks for tuning in. Make it a great day and keep wrenching.